So hi guys. In this third part, uh, we're now gonna finalize our app. Uh, what we done in the last video, we were able to call the database and get everything. And now in this video, we're gonna build our where statement. And our where statement is basically similar to this one. The only difference is between the where statement we're building right now is that instead of having always kilometer and mile, we're gonna depend on whatever the user inputs. And the way you build your where statement is just let's call it SQL where statement or just SQL where, keep it short. And let's get started. First of all, I'm getting starting with this part until here. So let me copy that. because this part is going to come from the user. Now here I have to take care because this is not the end of this string, but rather an apostrophe for, uh, or in a single quote for that, not as end of string. That's why I have to escape that and then terminate the string or the first part of that string. So I've just built this here and in order to make clear for Python that this this one here is just the um, the quote for the SQL and not the quote as uh, you know the, the string ending. Alternatively, which I often do when uh, I have when I know that I have single quotes in my string, I just go and use double double quotes and here as well. And this way, I don't have to escape the quotes and makes my code slightly more readable. That's, that's something I always do or often do. And so now I've got the first component. Now, plus, now where do I get my kilometer from or my, my you know, whatever the guy wishes to uh, convert from? It is this here, from input. So basically, string, uh, not, yeah, from input, from input. So now I have whatever the, the user types in plus now open double quotes. Now the single quote of that. And then I can just basically, basically I just copy all this because this is not going to change. Right. And then close that part of the string and then plus string uh, to input. Okay, great, plus double quote open, that single quote for mile, and then let's put an apostrophe and go. Or you know what, keep the apostrophe off, right. So that's our where statement. And now what we can do, we can enhance our um, SQL here, code with that where statement. And let's put a space, then plus SQL where, and then plus, that's why I didn't put it at the end, um, semicolon, uh, semicolon, exactly. That's the, that's the SQL terminator. Right. Now I have a where statement. And let me first, before calling the database, let me check how my worst where statement looks. Let me comment this stuff out. Uh, unco uh, comment out, exactly. And we can comment this stuff in. Right, great. So we're getting now the input, or just, I don't need the value right now. I just need the from and to. And this one would, and then I would can see how my where statement looks. Does it look something like that? Then it's great. Then we can use it for the day. If not, let's see where the, where the error is. Right. Let's save and let's run. So it's unit convert from kilometer, unit convert to mile. And oh, I have to print my SQL where, of course, how silly of me. Print. SQL where save now let's run again 
Okay, convert from kilometer and you're gonna convert mile. And you see my where is where convert from open, close, and convert to mile. So it's pretty much the way I want it to. So SQL the, the where statement looks good, so we can remove wait a minute, we can remove that. We can remove that. We can uncomment this. All right. And we can uncomment this. Right. And let's take that out. Just print data, select factor, print data, right. So save it. Now I should get the factor that I need. Right, let's try it out. Uh, run. So it asks me for the value which to convert. Let's say 35. Unit to convert from kilometer. Unit convert to mile. And I get the factor. Great. Now, all I've got to do is, because the factor is still raw data from the database, i.e. I have an outer and inner list, as I mentioned in the previous video, so all I have to do now is basically first of that, actually it's the only one, and first of the inner list as well there, it's the only one. Save that. Let's run that application again. Let's put in any value, doesn't matter. 25, convert from kilometer. Well, let's try something else. Let's try, or let, let me first meter and mile. And now we see we just get the value itself. Great. So we're getting the factor now from the database. It's exactly what we need. Now, what you have to pay attention, we don't need to print down anymore, but what I need, I need to uh, turn that into a float. And that is my conversion factor here, conversion factor. So I'm going to call that conversion factor is equal to and not I'm not going to take the found data as it is but I need to convert that to a float because a found data the database could be text and I that could be text or is actually text and then I better turn it into a float because I need a float for my calculations so now I have my conversion factor great basically now we can build our string and I find here, this is our string that we're planning to print. Let's copy that. This is the string I plan to print. And it says here, conversion type and conversion value. Now, conversion type is my key. And my key was built uh, from the input and outputs. Well, we can basically take that, cut it out, and use it here, and just rename that variable because my key was named as a sort of a indicator of that's my dictionary key but we're not using dictionaries anymore so we can might as well call it conversion type and take that variable and put it here right so that's one thing done now conversion value Oh, that conversion value is what uh, it's turning whatever the user inputs to float. So, okay, take that out as well and put it here. Okay, that's done. So, I've got conversion value and conversion factor. Well, that would be my conversion factor. And I don't need this key stuff and all that. That's all dictionary relevant. I don't need it anymore. So, now I should actually get... A string saying uh, kilometer hyphen mile colon uh, and then uh, the conversion value of whatever we convert right let's try it out save f5 value I wish to convert 35 kilo meter mile and we got here kilometer to mile is 21.748 so it's working great Let's try another conversion, uh, F5, F5, uh, let's say 25 from mile to mm, nautical mile, 
Oops. Uh, index out of range. Oh, yeah, I, I did uh, this one here. That's my mistake. Let's try it out again. Uh, F5. Okay, uh, 25. Mile. And multiple mile. Right. And we have, that's it. So it's working great. Now, the only thing we have to cater for is what happens if I do something like this. Uh, 25 centimeter to uh, millimeter. And we don't have that because we have centimeters fully written out and millimeters as well. And we said, you know, in the web app that 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 is not going to happen because the guy or the user has to use drop downs. There's no way to type the, you know, the convert to or convert from. But anyways, how do we cater for such stuff it's right here? And we come again with the if. Right now, in, 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 in when we had a dictionary, our check was if that key isn't a dictionary. Now, how I can I ensure that here I don't get this error? Well, uh, we go back to our found data. If we comment this thing out and print found data okay save and let's write here so we know found data okay plus string found data right now let's see what happens and let's run that program again and we say 25 centimeter millimeter and uh, yeah, let me let me print it up here before the error takes place, so we can see what found data looks like when somebody types an error. Uh, F five again, uh, twenty five C N M M, and I see found data. You see here, found data is completely empty. The list is empty. Why? Because <clears throat> obviously. Uh, those got sent to the where statement and the where statement or the SQL statement returns nothing because nobody fulfills that and hence the found data is an empty list. And how do I check for an empty list? Well, very simple. This is a list with length equal zero. So thus my if factor would be if I just copy that if and remove that, don't need that anymore. Now, if, oh, I just forgot the I, if uh, len of found data equal to zero, remember equality, checking for equality is always double equal. One equal means uh, you're defining this variable to be this value. Whereas double equal means checking for equality. If len, uh, 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 sorry, bigger than zero, then, or let's keep it like this. If equal to zero, then what? Well, then you can say your inputs don't make any sense. That is, if we get a found set, else, well, else you can then do this conversion factor. You can have that conversion type and you can have that conversion value. And then as well, you can print that conversion. And I don't need all of that. Right. So now I have set um, a condition. If you find no data, then print that out. Otherwise, you know, convert the conversion factor and it doesn't make it, it makes sense to put it here. It doesn't make sense to put it up here because if data is empty, this is also going to throw up an error. This you could keep outside. You could keep that outside if you wish here, but you don't need it because you're not going to be printing anything. You see? So, right. Let's try it out and let's try it out with the, with the wrong 35. Oh. I have to type in here, 35. Then let's try kilometer. 
millimeter and it says your input your inputs don't make any sense great fantastic now let's run it with some real inputs uh, 35 kilometer to uh, yard yard hold on I don't know what was in the addiction was a yard or yards I forgot uh, yard great yard right return and I get the right conversion so you see now it's pretty much similar to the one uh, to the what to the version we had with the uh, with the dictionary except it is much more compact because we have separated the data from the code now you can change the database you can do anything you don't anybody anybody can, ch can change the database anybody could you know do something with the database those people don't have to touch the code and vice versa uh, somebody touching the code does not have to touch the database we have separated issues we have separated data from code and the code is much more compact and if we are dealing with databases and we need to check am i getting anything any data out of it this is the perfect check because now if you if that length is zero obviously you have nothing obviously obviously you could have written that if in a different way and you could have written it like this so basically uh, this would be greater zero then you would get all of that stuff in here and uh, I gotta check my tabs because Python is very sensitive about that and this print gets then in the else statement so I could have obviously done it like this and uh, if I remove or just let me uncomment this stuff uh, comment this stuff out so if I, I could also leave it like this it's basically the same effect and just to prove it let me run that again uh, unexpected what is there what is the problem or did I oops okay uh, oh yeah it has to be like this of course I've done too many tabs right and here oops all right all right okay great save it now it should work great the five the so value is 35 let's convert from yard to millimeter and oh you see here there's a database error for converting from yard to millimeters we have 914 comma and that should be a dot let's check it out uh yard to millimeter here millimeter no that's here millimeter yard i ah, see there's a comma you can fix that right now point here as well point here as well let's, let's fix these three and then save it point so now i'm going to save my database the way you save in uh, in db browser is file write changes right so i just saved it right now let me run this thing again 35 oh, oh i just gotta run f5 okay 35 then convert to yard convert if, uh, convert from yard and then to millimeter and now it works great and you see it doesn't matter which way you 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 build your if statement main thing you have one which caters for any errors that happen right and now you're able your 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 code is now able to get those conversion factors from a database convert that to a float apply that in this calculation and print out the new value after you convert the input value and that is now basically a working app for unit conversion albeit command based and now we have to see how can we convert that to a web application